Is Mars truly our best bet for mankind's first cosmic settlement? Or could Titan, Saturn's largest moon, be the unexpected underdog in this interstellar race? Welcome to our exploration of the pros and cons of colonizing Mars and Titan. We've all heard the hype about Mars, the red planet, becoming our next home. But what if there's another contender in the ring? Enter Titan, a moon of Saturn with its own unique set of advantages. So Mars or Titan? Let's dig deeper into the unique challenges and rewards each celestial body presents. Mars, our red neighbor, has long been the poster child for space colonization. For decades, it has captivated our imaginations, drawing us in with its fiery allure and the promise of a new frontier for humankind. One of Mars's key selling points as a potential second home is its closeness to Earth. It's our next door neighbor in the cosmic scheme of things. This relative proximity makes it a more feasible destination for human missions and eventual colonization. It means shorter travel times, easier communication, and the potential for resupply missions. Another promising feature of Mars is the confirmed presence of water ice. Water is the lifeblood of any potential colony, not just for drinking, but also for growing food and even producing fuel. The fact that Mars has this essential resource in abundance significantly reduces the logistical challenges of setting up a sustainable human presence. Mars also holds the potential for terraforming. With the right technology, we could potentially modify the Martian environment to make it more Earth-like. This could involve thickening the atmosphere, raising the temperature and even introducing Earth-based life forms. But living on Mars would not be without its challenges. The Martian atmosphere is thin and mostly carbon dioxide, offering little protection from harmful radiation. Prolonged exposure to this radiation could lead to serious health issues for colonists. The low gravity on Mars, at just over a third of Earth's, could also have significant effects on the human body. It could affect bone density, muscle mass, and cardiovascular health. We are, after all, creatures of Earth, evolved to thrive in its specific conditions. Despite these challenges, Mars remains a strong candidate for colonization due to its relative familiarity and accessibility. The Red Planet, with all of its trials and tribulations, continues to beckon us, representing the next giant leap for mankind in our quest to become a multi-planetary species. Titan, on the other hand, is a realm of mystery and potential. This colossal moon of Saturn, larger than the planet Mercury, has intrigued scientists for decades and for good reason. For starters, Titan boasts a thick atmosphere, denser than Earth's. This shield not only protects the moon's surface from solar radiation, but also creates a pressure similar to that on our home planet, making it a more comfortable environment for human exploration. More intriguingly, Titan's surface is replete with lakes and seas, but these are not your average bodies of water. Instead, they are filled with methane and ethane, while this might seem bizarre, it opens up a world of possibilities. These hydrocarbon lakes could potentially be used for energy production, providing an abundant on-site energy source for a future colony. However, Titan is not without its challenges. One major hurdle is its sheer distance from Earth. Saturn orbits the Sun at a distance nine times greater than Earth, making the journey to Titan no small feat. Furthermore, the moon's surface temperature averages a frigid minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, a far cry from the balmy temperatures we're accustomed to. And then there's the lack of oxygen. Titan's atmosphere is primarily nitrogen, with a smattering of methane and only trace amounts of oxygen. Future colonists would need to find a way to produce oxygen on site or transport it from Earth, both of which pose significant logistical challenges. Titan may be a long shot, but its unique conditions could make it a fascinating and rewarding place to establish a human presence. Despite the obstacles, Titan's potential merits serious consideration. Its abundant resources, fascinating geology, and potential for scientific discovery make it a compelling candidate for future colonization efforts. As we continue to reach for the stars, perhaps Titan Saturn's enigmatic moon will prove to be our next frontier.
When we compare Mars and Titan, it's clear that each offers a unique set of challenges and opportunities. Let's begin by examining their atmospheres. Mars's thin atmosphere, primarily composed of carbon dioxide, provides little protection from solar radiation. On the other hand, Titan's dense nitrogen-rich atmosphere shields the surface from cosmic rays, offering a natural radiation barrier, a significant advantage for human habitation. But the atmospheric advantage of Titan has its downside too. The thick atmosphere and distance from the Sun mean less light, leading to an extremely cold environment on Titan, colder than any place on Earth. Mars, albeit cold, has a more temperate climate, with temperatures at the equator that can reach a comfortable 20 degrees Celsius in summer. In terms of resources, Mars's regolith contains water ice, which could be mined and used for drinking, growing crops, and creating rocket fuel. Titan, on the other hand, boasts lakes and rivers of methane and ethane, which could potentially be used as a source of energy, but would require significant technological advances to utilize. Gravity-wise, Mars comes out on top, with a gravity around 38% of Earth's, compared to Titan's 14%. Higher gravity helps reduce the health problems associated with living in a low-gravity environment. However, when it comes to exploring the outer solar system, Titan's position could be more strategic. Being a moon of Saturn, it could potentially serve as a gateway for exploring the outer planets, while Mars, being closer to Earth, could be more of a stepping stone for further space exploration. Looking at the technological challenges, both planets present significant hurdles. Mars's thin atmosphere makes landing there a tricky proposition. Meanwhile, the frigid temperatures on Titan would require any colony to be well insulated and possibly underground. So, where does this leave us? It's a tough call. Both Mars and Titan have their pros and cons. The choice between the two could hinge on future technological advancements, available resources, and our long-term goals in space. In the end, the decision to colonize Mars or Titan will likely come down to a complex interplay of scientific, technological, and practical considerations. So, Mars or Titan? The answer isn't as clear-cut as you might think. The debate of Mars versus Titan is a cosmic quandary that we've explored today. Mars, the red planet, with its similarities to Earth, offers a tantalizing prospect for colonization. Yet, Titan, the enigmatic moon of Saturn with its dense atmosphere and liquid methane lakes, presents an equally compelling case. Each celestial body has its own unique allure. Mars, with its potential for terraforming and proximity to Earth, has been the poster child for space colonization. On the other hand, Titan's rich resources and potential for non-terrestrial life forms make it a fascinating alternative. But the choice between these two is not straightforward. It's a dance of pros and cons, of feasibility and ambition, of science and imagination. As we look towards the future, it becomes increasingly clear that our journey to the stars is not a matter of either or, but when and how. As we continue to reach for the stars, the question remains, where will humanity make its first home beyond Earth? Only time will tell. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. And until next time, keep looking up.